it, it's a wonderful thing where you can genuinely, genuinely love people. That's freedom. I mean, what well, I'm about to say, let's, let's take it one step further. It, it's a wonderful thing to genuinely love unlovely people. If, when, you, when you get to that place, that's when you know you're free. Because all you got flowing through you is love. And if you got love flowing through you, this is God manifesting through you. And you're talking about the power that flows through you. You'll be a powerful being. If that's, those are your thoughts, you talk about the peace of God flows through your life because you're no longer irritated. You, you know, the person that used to be an irritant to your life is no longer an irritant. Why? Because you love them so much, you, you're kind to them and you want to help them. Because I know some of you, you, I know you got those people in your life that just, just irritates you. They just won't change. They won't do this, blah, blah, this, and all that. And if you notice, as you're going through all those thoughts about the person, it doesn't feel good to you. All those negative thoughts you have about them, if you notice, it actually affects you by thinking that way about people. If there's no, you, actually, you end up losing your peace. By thinking that way, because those are toxic thoughts. Because the Bible says love always thinks the best of every person. But if we're always thinking about how bad this person is, and this about this person, this about that person, all of that, all you thinking is toxic thought, because he tells us how to think. He said, think of those things that are true, just, honest, lovely, pure, good report any virtue, any praise to think on those things and then the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He said, just keep focus on me. Church, and we're in control of that and we, this is our soul area. This is what we're dealing with. This is that parable about the seed and the soil. The soil is our soul, to my heart, our soul. It has to get right so the word can grow in there to produce this fruit in our soul. We have the fruit of the spirit, but it's in our spirit. So our soul has to line up with our spirit so our soul can bring it out. If you notice, you, we bring out the wrong attitude. That's us. That's our soul, our thinking. Even though we have all this power going on inside of us, the spirit man, a spirit, our spirit man is identical to Jesus. But Je <laughs> and you, know, you already know that this weekend Jesus didn't show up in some of your lives. You showed up and it wasn't that pleasant. So that go to show you, you're in, you're, you're in control of that. Not the spirit man. Even God is not in control of that. Because he can't cross, uh, not can't, he will not cross your will. So you have to renew your mind. Then you'll make a decision. This is how I'm going to act. I'm going to love on her forever now. <laughs> and you're talking about when you, when you get to that place and all that other stuff is gone out of your heart. The stuff that caused the pain and the suffering that caused sicknesses and disease. All of that anguish that you, you know, you're going through, all because of your thoughts about people. Amen. Toxic thoughts destroying you. And you blaming everybody else, the, the reason why you feel the way you feel. Mm. And, and can no one tell you how to think. 